Thank you for joining us. You're watching the news from Bahrain Television. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace last night. PDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Commander of the National Guard Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, Interior Minister Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and Senior PDF National Guard Interior Ministry and National Security Agency officers. They all congratulated His Majesty the King on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan. His Majesty the King exchanged with them good wishes and hailed the dedicated efforts of all BDF, National Guard, Interior Ministry and National Security Agency affiliates in defending the homeland, protect its hard-won achievements and preserve national unity and citizens' dignity. His Majesty the King paid tribute to BDF personnel for taking part alongside their GCC counterparts in Operation Restoring Hope led by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, hailing their skills and bravery in assuming their noble responsibility. His Majesty the King wished Saudi Arabia further progress and prosperity led by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. He underscored the crucial importance of consolidating military and security cooperation and complementary work with other broadly GCC member states and standing united in confronting the challenges which are threatening the region. His Majesty the King took pride in the people of Bahrain for joining ranks and standing united in rejecting extremism and all forms of terrorism, hailing their consciousness, culture and long-standing heritage.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa held talks yesterday with His Highness the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah at Desman Palace in the presence of Crown Prince Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah and Prime Minister Sheikh Jabbar Al Mubarak Al Hamad Al Sabah. Discussions focused on the distinguished fraternal ties linking the two countries and ways of further cementing them in various fields, ways of enhancing joint cooperation as well as regional and international issues of common interest. Interest. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister conveyed the greetings of His Majesty to His Highness the Emir of Kuwait, stressing keenness to build on the solid basis of a bilateral cooperation which derives a strength from deep-rooted historic relations between both countries. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister congratulated His Highness the Emir of Kuwait on the holy month of Ramadan, wishing him abundant good health and happiness and a happy return of the occasion for him, the Kuwaiti people, as well as the Arban Islamic nations. He commended the key role played by Kuwait at the Gulf Arab and international levels, affirming that Bahrain and Kuwait have a common vision regarding the crucial phase undergone by the region and the need for stronger cooperation to maintain regional security and stability. His Royal Highness and His Highness the Emir of Kuwait stressed the need for stronger GCC cooperation due to fast-paced regional developments and their repercussions.
His Highness the Emir of Kuwait then held an iftar banquet in honor of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, which was attended by the Kuwaiti Crown Prince, Prime Minister and senior officials. Later in the evening, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister returned home at Kuwait International Airport. His Royal Highness was seen off by the Kuwaiti Prime Minister, Deputy Premiers, Senior Officials and Ambassadors of the two countries.
Israel Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at the Gdabia Palace today scores of citizens led by intellectuals, businessmen, media personnel and artists. The audience extended congratulations to His Royal Highness on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan, wishing him continued health and happiness. The Prime Minister affirmed the necessity of joining efforts to strengthening national economy through benefiting from the policy of commercial openness and the government's facilities to reinforce economic diversity and the role of the private sector. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of improving productivity and performance so as to increase economic activity, adding that the government listens to the visions of businessmen and traders through the Chamber of Commerce and Industry. He commended the role of Bahraini journalists in economic development, urban complete complement, cooperation between the commercial and media fields. He said that the government encourages investment to enhance the competitive capability of the kingdom and also encourage benefiting from Bahrain's strong commercial relations, especially with Russia, China and the countries of East Asia. The Prime Minister commended the participation of Bahraini artists in Gulf and Arab artistic work, saying that official media authorities must enhance the status of Bahraini artists. With regards to regional and international issues, His Royal Highness highlighted the shared elements among UCC countries that help in establishing a successful Gulf Union due to the strong and excellent relations binding them. He praised the role of the King of Saudi Arabia as a neighbor and a main super and main supporter to all GCC member states who are each other's strategic depth. He said that the challenges facing the region and its effects on security and stability requires a unified Arab, Arab vision from Arab leaders in order to protect Arab countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa held this evening an iftar banquet at the BDF Officers Club. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince had praised the BDF's role alongside ally forces in further developing joint defence cooperation and safeguarding the region's stability and security. Upon arrival, His Royal Highness was received by the BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Royal Guard Commander, His Highness Colonel Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Minister of State for Defence Affairs, Lieutenant General Yusuf bin Ahmed Al Jalahma and the BDF's Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagar Naimi, along with a number of senior BDF officers. His Royal Highness extended his appreciation to the BDF officers for their dedication and effectiveness. His Royal Highness noted that the BDF had been recognized both domestically and internationally as an embodiment of a dedication and commitment to national service inspired by the national values. Upheld by His Majesty King Hamad, the Supreme Commander of of the BDF. For their part, the Commander-in-Chief and Senior Defence Officials extend their, son, their thanks to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for hosting the Iftar Banquet and wished him good health and happiness. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa also attended the banquet.
Prince Royal Highness Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, accompanied by his son Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, visited yesterday evening the Majlis of Sheikh Abdul Hussein Khalif Al Asfour, the Majlis of the Sons of the Late Ali bin Yusuf Fakhro, and the Majlis of the Sons of the Late Rashid bin Abdul Rahman Al Zayani. His Royal Highness highlighted the role of Islam in promoting tolerance and moderation, and emphasized that Islam is a religion of peace. He added that under the leadership of His Majesty the King, Bahrain continues to reinforce Islamic principles that embrace religious diversity. His Royal Highness went on to praise the stronger unity among Bahrain's community and added that these bonds are underpinned by a shared commitment to supporting Bahraini values and national identity. During a turning to Bahrain's business community, His Royal Highness highlighted its important role in further developing the kingdom's economic and trade standings and emphasized the private sector's role in supporting sustainable development, which is a key priority for the government. For their part, Sheikh Al Asfour, the sons of Ali bin Yusuf Fakhro, and the sons of Rashid bin Abd Rahman Al Zayani, all expressed their gratitude for His Royal Highness and hailed his commitment to the annual Majlis visit during the holy month of Ramadan.
And the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Mullah, chaired the Council's weekly meeting today in which the Council discussed the government's plans for youth during the summer vacation. The Council also discussed the report of the Services Committee regarding a draft law on amending some law provisions of Law Number 18 of 2006 regarding social insurance and decided to refer it to the same committee for more studies.